Jesus said, I didn't come to serve, but to, I didn't come to be served. I came to serve. And Paul says, he says, this God clothed himself in humanity and he came to live among us, but he didn't just come to live among us. He came to serve us and he didn't just come to serve us, but he came to serve us at the point of where we needed him the most. We didn't need a high priest. We already had that. What we needed was a high priest of the high priest. We needed a king of kings. We needed a Lord of lords. We needed somebody to do something for us that we could not do for ourselves. And so Jesus, because he's looked on the lostness of humanity, he clothed himself in humanity. He walked among us. He felt our sorrows. He understood our griefs. And then he became obedient, even to obedience to death on a cross. Why? Why? So that we could sit in here and do nothing behind stained glass. I argue that he did that so that we could go out and every day of my life I can live out the gospel. I can show the world the love of the man that saved my life. And I love being in here with you, but I've got to get out there. You know why? Because it's out there. It's out there that people need to hear. It's out there that we're, where we need to live out the gospel of Jesus. It's good to come in here and sing about the gospel. It's good to come in here and sing about flying away. And it's good to come in here and sing about God building on a foundation. I love those things. But I, you know what I love more? I love when somebody says, you know what, Chris? I didn't believe the gospel, but now I do believe the gospel. You know what, Chris? I'm dying and I'm going to hell, but now I believe on Jesus. And now I have an eternal home with him. That's what excites me. 